pretty sure it's going to be weather related and we're supposed to have um, 70 degree weather again this week so we'll be back and forth on this coldness like I tell you it messes my sinuses up so yesterday so I'll tell you a little bit what happened yesterday so yesterday I came in here and I worked on the demo paint that I have that's the ever moment custom that is supposed to be a Christmas gift and I'm trying to get it done hopefully get it done by uh, next weekend if I'm lucky that depends on how much I get done today because today's really my last full day of working on it since all next week will be my advent calendar so I'm still trying to going to try to you know do that once a day and then get that up on the on YouTube for the same day it's a little harder um, to record it. it takes about 30 minutes to record it probably takes as long just to get it into Dropbox to turn around and load it up into my video editor to turn around and put it all together and flip it for YouTube so yesterday while I came out here and did what I did on the diamond painting that I was working on I um got you know where I wanted to say, okay, I'm going to start moving videos um, to go into my um, Dropbox so I can load them up later when I need to. This is on a project that I'm working I told you I was working on it a little differently. I was going to show those videos differently, so I loaded all those up. It's about 100 videos that I had to load up. So I was like, well, I can do that while we're at Kohl's, and then when I come back, from Kohl's, we, I can do my um, December 3rd Advent Day picture and get it loaded up and it'll hit sometime you know, tomorrow night and be good. Well, we got home about uh, 20 after 8. We left around a, about 3 o'clock, I guess I would say. So we went out to eat first and then went to... Uh, Coles and shopped around in there. I didn't think I'd find anything else, but I did find some Sonoma pajamas, plaid pajamas that I liked. A uh, teal green, dark green. Teal green is the color of the shirt, and dark green plaid is the pants. And then I found a hot pink, and then pink and purple and blue to go with the plaid, the plaid pants, or so the hot pink shirt and plaid pants. And the shirt's like kind of like what it feels like to me, um, like what you'd wear, um, uh, flannel, um, long underwear, the shirt, and the shirt is like that, um, but it's loose, and it's long sleeve, so I wore it last night, and I did okay with it, um, and then the pants, you know, I like flannel pants, so I'm get there too, so I'm always good with pants, because usually what I wear is pants, so I wear like a t-shirt and pants, those kind of pants, so, I was good with pants. And so then, um, they had this uh, bed set, Christmas bed set. That's the uh, quilt, Christmas quilt and two pillow shams uh, for $1.99. And they had it on sale 60% off. So we were like, yeah, $80 for the quilt um, and pillow sham set uh, for a queen size bed. So. We like the designs, Christmas designs, so we were like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that too. And then he had a coupon where he saved 30% on his uh, purchases if he used his Kohl's credit card. So we talked to the lady at the jewel counter. We're like, she was like, yeah, she's like, are y'all going to check out? We're like, yeah, we're going to, because what we we're asking is, you know, can we pay the credit card anywhere? She's like, yeah, she's like, you can go use it over there. She's going to come back over here and pay with me over here. We're like, okay, that's what we'll do. So she thought we were ready to pay for it then. We're like, no, we're just going to use it on our purchases right now. She said, that's smart. She says, get your savings, get your Kohl's cash, and then pay your the card off. She said, yeah, she said, that's how most people need to do it anyway. I was like, yep, yeah. so you got the money now. I might as well do it. And you get the percentage and save your 30% by using the card. Might as well, because you save money. So we did that. So we had like $60 in Kohl's cash to use. So we used that, and I got the two pajama sets. I got two pack of underwear. I got 
Um, what else did I see? He got a pullover zippered shirt that he wanted and try, oh two I got two pair of socks that had um there were two two packs, so I got four four pair of socks and they were like eight dollars. They were on sale. They were normally priced sixteen. They were the Sonoma socks and they're um got winter scenes or Christmas scenes and I picked out colors to go with my pajamas because I like to wear socks to bed because my feet get cold. So, well, you've gotten the um, $3.99 fuzzy shop socks earlier, I guess in November, before Black Friday. Um, but those things are pulling apart at the same, so I've already chunked all those. I'm not going to keep them. So there's no point when I got my new socks that uh, will feel better and um, won't pull apart either of the good socks because they're Sonoma socks. So, I got those to go with my... Um, Pajamas. And then we decided um, I need a rain boot. So if I'm going to be walking um, back and forth across the yard here, especially on the day like we had last week when it poured a rain and I had a lake to cross, it felt like anyway, um, I need rain boots that I can wear, go across the yard, and then, you know, just take them off while I'm in here and just put my slippers on. And then when I go, got to go back trudging across the yard and it's wet, I can put the boots back on. So I went to, um, uh, first we had to go to Ulta. So after Kohl's, we went to Ulta because we had to get some shampoo and conditioner and that place was packed. And it kills me in that place because as soon as you walk in the door, they're, you know, the perfume's right there. And they're right there near the register. So I knew when I had to stand in line, it was, the perfume was just going to kill me. So thankfully I didn't have to stand in line long and got the... Uh, got our hair shampoo, color shampoo, and conditioner. So, got that on sale, but I want to get one 50% off. So, I went ahead and got those. And then, um, like I said, I went over to Off Broadway Shoes um, to look for my rain boots. So, they had all these, you know, they always, they're like rec room shoes. They have a deal like buy one, get one 50% off. So, I was like, well, told us, I said, look, I'm coming in here for, um, rain boots. That does not mean you get a pair of Nikes. And he looked at me like I was crazy. And, because all he has to say is, if I say no more Nikes, he, he can say no more diamond paintings. And I got no leg to stand on. Because I got four diamond paintings from Black Friday that I haven't even unboxed. They're sitting over here in front of me in the Diamond Art Club box. So, I haven't even unboxed them yet. So, I was like, okay. So, I found a pair of, I think it's London Fog uh, rain boots that just pull on. So all I have to do is just pull it on. Um, and they're, you know, you just wear them with your socked feet. I'm not saying bare feet, your socked feet. They're like shoes, but they're, they're boots, rain boots. And they're not too high. So they're not booty boots. So I got me a pair of those. And of course, he got him a pair of white Nikes that he wants to use as his everyday shoes. So I don't want to use these as my everyday shoes. So they're just plain, they're white, they got black Nike on them. He's good. So he doesn't use up his, what he calls his classy style uh, shoes for his, uh, almost what he, he almost wants to collect them. So he does have a pair that he is collecting because he. Bought them. Um, they're the retro 80s. They got funky colors. He likes them a lot, and he felt like he messed them up. It was like they were wearing too much. So he um, got that, and he goes, "So is mine gonna be the 50 percent off?" And I looked at him and said, "No, yours is not gonna be the 50 percent off." I said, "Because the mine's the cheaper shoe. Mine's gonna be the 50 percent off. So yours is gonna be full price, and mine's gonna be." you know the 50% off and but what they do is they pretty much take it off of the both shoes but that's okay so mine were um I didn't realize mine were regular price like 50 60 dollars that I got mine for 30 I said well that works out the good I said because mine you know were 60 dollars and and they were the half off so the I got the paid there for them for 30 dollars so it was good sorry I drink my water so now I'm going to get it ready here to figure out what my uh, day for day three is going to be. I don't know if I need to put new number stickers on here or not. Someone won't come off because it's just been moving the 
picture around, but it is what it is, so. All right, so let me get my, while I'm still recording you, I'm going to pull you off the charger here. And let me see here, my random, and I got to get my uh, camera pulled up here after we figure out where we're going to put it. I'm going to have you walk, we're going to walk and talk here because I got to move my mic stand for my camera. And then I got to move my camera out so I can do the randomizer to figure out what our number for the week is. So, so let me turn it on. I don't even have it on. Let me turn my power back on. There it goes so I can turn it on. So we can get our day three random number done. There it goes. It's a little slow. Hopefully it'll be number two because that's the one that's all over the place. So let's see. My Tiny Decisions app. That's what I'm using. I have an Android so I don't have a, um iPhone. Let me find my what square. Where is my what square? I don't want that one. There it is, what square. So let us spin the wheel. And for December 3rd, we are working on square six. All right, so let me record that. So y'all see that? So the December 3rd is square six. So let me get this back over here. Figure out where square six is down here in the bottom. All right, so I'm going to bring you out. I'll bring you out while I'm recording this. And then i got to bring it over. Come on down. How far down will you go? And a little bit further. Let me move it up a little bit. I think that'll be better. again so I can slide it over like I need it to be slid over slide it right there let's sit right there so let's see here so we are on December 6th I'm gonna get the light pad on so I can really see here We're too far over. Maybe I can bring you back because I try to, because I'm left handed, shoot you guys from the right side so I can see everything. So let me get that back around. Oops. <clears throat> All right. Let's see where it's at here. All right, so that should be good. Let's see your point of view. I think you can see everything from your point of view. There it is right there. Alright, now I got to draw it. I got to line it up and cut it out here. So I have to get my ruler and that pen. I gotta figure out where the pen went. Is it over here? There it is right there. That ceramic pen where you can cut things, cut coupons and things. That's what I'm using on here. So day six. Here we get it right there. So let's see here. Day six goes across there. Let's see what it pulls up, how it pulls up. Not that. Not my washi tape. Uh, yeah, it feels good. Alright, so then let me get the cross here. Get that part out. Make sure I've got that lined on it. Oops. Oh, that's a little crooked. I see it too. I think it's going to be crooked when it cut there. So, all right, I'll get it off here. I'm going to cross here. And then we'll go up. Bring it back down. There we go. 
All right, that's somewhat decent. Let me see my tweezers here. I really wanted to cut that part off. I can get it and lift it. I'm getting the washi tape, and that's not one I want, but I'm going to line it up like that a little bit. I'll probably have to lift it up to get it on there. Get those lined up. Okay, <clears throat> so there's that. So let's get this part started. Move my phone. That's what I'm recording with. <clears throat> Extra smelly dryer sheet there. All right, so we are going to first, let me see where you guys are as far as the picture is concerned. I don't want to turn you too much. I think you can try to see if I can see me. I can see my hand too far. Finger, hand. Alright, so I know what it needs and they change your point of view. Because you can't be that wide in. There you go. And I'll move that up. Okay, so now I got you centered up right. So let me get my. I'm sure I use my clips there. I'm gonna get my clip to clip it on the oops light pad so it won't move. Put it on that side. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we will start with I think I'll start up here at the top and I'm gonna move it with the Y's. There's the piece right there when we get off. There we go. Ha ha. Solve that problem. All right, we're going to do the Y's first. So we get this part out. This is the big container. It says the majority colors. Ooh. All right, so let's see here. So Y. Okay, and you want to keep falling off. I wonder if I can drill two on there. Let me see here. Probably ain't gonna stay. Probably not gonna stay. Alright, so let's get our pen and our wires. I think these are all the colors here. I'll just dump the dryer sheet out with it. Might as well. And I don't bother nothing. Need to in there be dryery. All right. So why is what we're gonna do? I need to lift that up. And so situate so I can see my beads and my symbols here. So anyway, so I got the uh, rain boots, and he got some Nike shoes, everyday shoes, to wear when it rains. So I have my rain boots now, so I don't feel so bad now when I have to go across the yard, and there's big puddles of water, and trying to jump in one of my tennis shoes on, when I can go ahead and just walk in them with my rain boots on. So, and they had cute little ones, you know, for her little kids. I think they're always cute, the little rain boots that kids wear yeah so I kind of need a pair of those that's what I need in my life and they had some nice ones and some funky color ones but I was like oh, I just didn't know those mine are black with black polka dots so black on black so those are the wires we'll just that little bit okay all right well it's no wonder it's not just a little it's just a little there okay okay get in there Alright, why? So next we'll do these dashes, green dashes. Alright, where are they on the key? Down there in the second one. Alright, so we won't do those yet. Two dots are right here. So we'll do the two dots next. Trying to do what I can in the one container before I have to move over to the second one because there's only like three or four colors in the second container. So I might as well get all these done first. And I think I gotta put a new sticker on for number two. 
it will come off. It keeps one trying to come off on my sweatshirt. All right, the two dots are right here. So we'll create our border. We'll put it right there. So then after that, we uh, had to stop at Lowe's Foods to get a couple of uh, grocery items. So we had to get orange juice and straws. He wanted to see what kind of batteries they had. Um, I'm trying to think, was there anything? I thought there was something else. Oh, lemon juice. And I think that was it. Just some one-offs. So we got that. Oh, he had to get some popcorn seasoning. He, we like the uh, good the popcorn seasoning, the kettle corn one, to go with our kettle corn popcorn. Of course, right now he's been popping his popcorn in the pop can, uh, popcorn poppers, kind of like air popping. Um, you fill it up with the kernels, you put it in the microwave, you put this little plastic piece over the top. Well, I wouldn't say plastic, it's more silicone type piece. And it's got holes in it so it helps vent while the popcorn's popping. And then he just puts the seasoning on there. So he got nacho cheese and then, of course, the kettle corn, like I said, that we like. All right, the number sign is number eight. There it is. I had to look past where I had them in order. Put those in. Number sign, hashtag, whatever y'all want to call it. It's a number sign to me, pound sign to some others, and the hashtags to you want younger generation. So, after his lows, that's when we got home. So, like I said, it was probably like 20 after 8. I still needed to take a shower um, and wash my hair. Um, so, like I said, I came over here and I was moving 100 videos. And when I clicked on this, like it said 40 minutes left. I said, well, crap. Because so I go back over. In 40 minutes from there, it'll be 9 o'clock, and that's when it'll be time for our coffee. And our friend from the UK was supposed to be on, and although he wasn't, but, you know, he's been off all week, so, um, pretty much all week. And so, um, I played Disney Dreamlight, and the less watched the little TV, and then he decided he was going to play Rocket League, so we played Rocket League a little bit together before we went to bed. <clears throat> so, anyway, so 40 minutes of waiting on that video, then 30 minutes for me to film the video, and then 20 to 30 minutes for me to get it uploaded, it'd be like 10, 11 o'clock before I got done. So I was like, you know what? I wasn't in the mood to deal with it. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to. I will just wait and do it on Sunday and give them two days on Sunday. But I will make sure... Um, from here on out that my weekend days are done and recorded and ready to drop like they're supposed to So that's the only ahead part that I'll be doing is the weekend ones Okay, and that's the next one So that's good to order my color here That works out Maybe if I keep dumping them out with the Dryer sheet, they'll, they'll do better static wise here. They seem to be doing okay, so. <clears throat> so we'll get this one loaded up. So, anyway, I got on Dreamlight last night. It had been uh, probably a week since I played it. Of course, all my crops disappeared again. I had one group of crops left that were showing. I didn't look. I think I had still my lettuce, but I hadn't even looked at the beach to see what I had left at the beach. And of course, my. Um, Picking my gardening partner is already up level 10, so I don't gain anything other than, you know, trap them up in the gazebo so when we're done picking everything, it'll drop everything all at one time and I can get everything without having to pick it up later. Just run around picking it up. It's a lot easier than walking and say, pick up, pick up, pick up. So I did that. Got uh, things, I got four crops picked for. Uh, the plateau that I've got to uh, plant, so 400 crops that I got to plant. And then I didn't have um, a lot of coal because I got to take Donald with me to go mining, and that's where I get all my coal. So that's the first thing I'm going to have to do with him so I can go to Remy's restaurant and um, cook me up some soufflés because that's where my energy comes from because I have to have energy to 
redo the crops to uh, to plant the crops to water the crops and then you get free and you know you use no energy to harvest the crops so I gotta do all that for 400 crops that I want to plant and I got to redig so Mickey's my digging companion but he, he was asleep during that time that I was playing. I said, you, Mickey, I mean, come on now. And I have him up already at his uh, potential, too. So, I don't really get anything. But it works to ha use him to dig because I get a lot of clay. And from what I understand on Mickey, Minnie's uh, task that I have to do when it's her, her turn, because I'm not there yet, uh, I'm going to need a crap ton of stuff. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm collecting. Finally upgraded my house. I think to the last upgrade. It was 70,000 coins. I had about 133. So it's dropped me down again. But I got a good amount from the, I think, soya seeds. And the um, onions that I had. So that worked out good. Letter S. So... I upgrade that, so now the next thing I do is I got to upgrade my backpack, and then um, I've already got a second floor on my house, but I think only one or two rooms. Maybe that's where I'm gonna put all my chest. So that's the other thing I gotta make some chests now, so I can start putting food items in their uh, only chests. I think is what I'm gonna do. So right now I have soil. Um, in one chest and rich soil in another chest. Well, I got a crap ton of soil and I've got two chests dedicated to it because I had to do another chest for it. So those are side by side and then the rich soil is next to it. And then I have the rocks uh, in the next chest and they're they're all together and then I added um, the different kind of rocks that you get um, in that chest. Then I gotta do a chest for wood and put all the wood in the chest. And then I'm gonna start separating out um, vegetables and fruits. I got fruits in one chest, vegetables in another chest, uh, grains in one chest, and uh, seasonings, uh, herbs and sea spices, I guess you'd call them, herbs and spices in another chest. And I want them all individually to have their own. That's a lot of chest I'm gonna have to create. And then, you know, you have to grow and harvest and find a crap ton of that. But that's what I want to do. So I'll have, like, buttloads of food items to go with um, the recipes to create. So, because the recipes, the food is what gives, gives you the energy. The extra energy is short of running into your house every time you turn around. Which was getting old last night because I didn't have enough, um, I didn't know what I had as far as Cole was concerned to create, <coughs> sorry, to create the, um, get in there. This one just doesn't want to get in. Create my food items. So that's what I got to do tonight. Take Donald with me and we go cutting rocks to get our coal. So I have to take them around, around the town. So I have to take them to get all this stuff. So I need to start playing again because the December uh, update is supposed to come out this week. So I want to have stuff, I want to have place crops growing in case I need them in the places they need to be growing in and at. So. That just takes time. So it takes about, for me, uh, for 300 crops, and that would be like the three dedicated plants for that area, but just the, the plateau, plateau has four. Um, it's, it takes about five souffles to plant, or dig, plant, and um, water. Now, a lot of times, I won't water. I'll wait till um, it rains. But, and with the... Uh, issue that I had my crap stuff disappearing and that's what I was waiting on with what for it to rain and that's how it disappeared because it probably just died out it just dies on the game because that's just what it does the crops do if you don't get on their play regularly especially if you don't water it so they die on you so hopefully because I have my I planted my onions and my bell peppers and the canola seeds last night they were ready to be harvested but I was working on 
doing the chili peppers, the um, cotton. What else was I growing? Something. Zucchini? Something. I don't remember what. I'm trying to see what this is right here. I'm get my tweezers and pull that. So I don't know if it's a thread for my washi or my dryer. I made my cover sheet. That's the cover sheet. So I did all that. So I wanted to work on that tonight to make sure everything's planted and good to be harvested. So it just takes time and energy on that. So that's where I am on that game. Since I talked to you lately on it, because I ain't played it lately, because I'm playing Rocket League. Now in Rocket League, I I have the um, the Rocket the Season Pass. So I got my spray that I wanted. The, I told you the Gold Explosion spray that I wanted was the spray can i got it and i got the a little bit further up in my level so i got the orange um can of spray uh for my goal explosion so i got the next one um that was available up i got it so i'm kind of excited about that and then i'm pretty close to getting to um 100 i was at 79 last night when we got off so if we play any tonight i might get more higher than um 80 <clears throat> depending on if we play together and we win that's what usually happens is i get the better xp boost for the rocket league pass and then i get uh more um percentage on my xp that's what ranks me up and then i got all the cool things so I told him, I said, well, so that will be starting next, well, yeah, next week. That will start the new season. The new season goes from December 7th to March 7th. So I told my husband, it's like four months worth of, you know, cheering up to get all the cool things that I'm getting because I'm getting decals and um, paint, um, different body paint uh, types and wheels and, you know, all the, all the crazy things you get for your car. So I said, yeah, I said, I'm going to do it again because I got like 500 credits now. So really I don't have to do is buy like, you know, half or half the number of credits because it's a thousand credits. I'm halfway there. So it's not too much money. Okay, so that's next. <clears throat> I'm just going right along here on, on these. I'll tell you, the rounds are faster. So um, I saw a post. I finally got myself into the Diamond Art Club VIP group. And I saw a post on there where someone was asking, you know, for those people who diamond paint fast, what's your tips and tricks? And, you know, do you have, she had a bunch of questions like, do you have neck pain, um, back pain when you diamond paint? Do you, you know, you have this when you do this? And, you know, she understands that it's not a race and she just wonders what makes, you know, people. I guess fast or faster when they're doing it. For me personally, I think it's just going to take time because you have to work at it to be good at it. So if you're just starting out, you're going to be slow. I hate to tell you, when I first started out, I was slow too. I mean, I wasn't, I, when I first started, I did a square um, first go round and I was uh, really particular with it because I wanted it to be all even and straight and you know, everything now is just you throw it down. You don't care because on squares, you know, if you did the checkerboard method or the step method or the diagonal method or whatever method you want to call it, you're going to get them things straight. I mean, they ain't got nowhere to go but straight. So that's not hard at all, you know. For me, I'm more, it's a little harder for me on rounds, um, especially if they don't have the, uh, what they call the training wheel because I don't do a lot of rounds. I do squares. So I have to make sure I do somewhat get the, the bead in the right place on a round because of the color that's sitting on the background of the bead is what matches the color of the bead. So that's what uh, gives you the color for the non-squared um, edges for a round because that's just how a round is. A round doesn't um, sit, you know, when it sits side by side, everything's covered, but it squares do. So I would just say on that one, you know, that it just takes time. I am a single placer. I do not multi-place. If I'm multi-placing, it's because the single placer is picked up too, and I just happen to put them down that way. And you'll you know, see that on my videos. That will happen. But I don't multi-place. I, I don't um, 
have anything against people who do that, that's fine. That's in, I have seen people who multiplace. I have seen how a square looks when you multiplace it, especially on color blocking areas like black, where you can really see where the lines are. And that's not my life. I don't want no part of that. Um, it's just not me. I feel better knowing that I've placed every single one. I've done it myself. I like I said, nothing against people who multiplace because they enjoy them. That's what they like doing. I just don't like the look of multiplacing. I don't like how multiplacing makes lines on your squares when you're uh, multiplacing, say, a color blocking area. It just creates, it creates lines. I can see it and I don't like it, but that's just me. And then, you know, and then it's just the time thing. It's a time constraint. And then, you know, what you're, what you're doing and what you're not doing. All right, I got to decide where my edge is here. I'm not going to use that as my edge. And I got to pick these up. I can put them right there. Oops. Come back here so I can pick up a little bit. And I should put my plus and maples right there. So I'm going to go back and do those. But this is going to be my last row on this side, so I have to hold that up and put my diamond right there. Let me put these two right here. So, and then as far as the neck and the back pain, if you got neck and back pain, um, you need to find a better position that works for you or a better table that works for you because you really shouldn't be hurting um, why you're doing the craft because that's not what it's intended for and that's what it's not meant to now I'll tell you I have had times I've hurt my hands and I, that's why I went to back or went to the square uh, containers as opposed to the round ones because I did two paintings back to back uh, no rest between them um, using the 60 case bottles and uh, hurt my hand tightening and loosening the bottles up just the, just the gripping part of my hand so I've, you know, laid off that, not doing that, using the squares, uh, containers, trying to not be as, uh, I guess, brutal, you know, on my hand. I'm left-handed, so I, you know, I use the hand. This is the hand that does all the crafts anyway. I, you know, have a long history of cross-stitching. So I've been doing that for, I haven't been cross-stitching it for, you know, for years. So I did all that way. Um through college and everything so you know just trying to make life easier on your hand I can't really grip or hold things as, as well as I want to so that's you know I'd say on that just you know take care of yourself because the the it's supposed to be an, a hobby that you're enjoying or you're making um, pictures and things like that that you enjoy so yeah it's not about the race it's it's about how you do it so I guess it's more of an idea of a question of what tips and tricks do you have that gets you fastly through a picture and like I said I don't have them because I don't I'm not a fast painter I don't think because when number one like I said I single place that's what works for me now I know that I can do in a non-confetti type picture, I can probably do about 500 uh, drills in 30 minutes. That's what I got for those Every Moment Customs that I'm working on. But a lot of that's color blocking stuff. So, and that's, you know, that's the, that's a given there on how fast you can go. So, you know, and then the, the time constraints, um, I work during the day. So I can come out here and work a couple of hours at night, and that's my weeknight. And then if I go in and watch TV or something, then that's what I do. You know, I have no kids. I don't have those, that responsibility and thing to deal with, so that doesn't take up my time. I do have a husband. He does take some time, especially if there's TV shows he wants to watch together, which is what we did on Monday nights when Dancing with the Stars was on. We watched that together, so, you know, just there are things you do, so... Well, that I, all I can say is I think being fast is something that just comes with experience and the time evolving, you know, into it. I mean, what you don't want to do is be so fast at it um, that you get yourself burnt out on it because that's not the way you want to be either. All right, I need one equal and one plus to redo those, so I'm going to get them out of the container. 
So what do I have? Sorry. Let me get that. Let's set up. I see what I'm left handed trying to do two, two things, so it doesn't work. And that's the equal one, so that's got to get there. And then the plus. Close. Close good. Did you close good now? Alright, now these things won't be. There they go. Now close outside, close inside, Susan. Come on now. Alright, let me get the scrub the cross one on this one. Then one single. And lift it up. And then there's that one. Okay. Let's see what's next. The next symbol is we'll do the where's the dashes? That's the next box, so give me the C's. So I'm seeing next. That's what I'm gonna do. Get my hand in here. I'll do the C's right here. I don't have to worry about lifting this up again. Let's do these right here. That works well right there. Just hold it. So that's my thoughts on the working faster. I don't think I'm a fast oven pair, but. The other ones are kind of good. Alright, let me fill these in. So, and then also, um, apparently I had been missing out on Diamond Art Club's face, oh, not Facebook group, but their webpage. They had a whole group of diamond painting or pictures to be potential diamond paintings that you had to vote on. And some of them were, were crazy. There were some crazy colors and some crazy pictures. I'm like, you know, that's not my type. I mean, when Diamond Art Club really first got started and people were getting the pictures, I didn't see anything I liked because it was just too abstract for me. But, you know, now that they have the, you know, Abraham Hunter, the Chuck Pinson um, landscapes, and they've got other people landscapes, so there's the Dominic Davidson's ones, they have some of those. Now that they're getting into, you know, different um, landscapes and different types, and we liked it, and then, of course, the... You know, the Justice League ones that they got the rights to those and Harry Potter and, you know, Warner Brothers. So, you just, there's just going to be different things you're going to be seeing as far as that line's concerned of what they're going to release. And then they just had some, you know, other, like, some really crazy off the wall. Well, like, a lot of anime was coming through, anime pictures. So, um, you know, that's not my style either, so I didn't really vote on those and... I put it on the landscapes. Um, there's one, I'm trying to think of what it looked like. This it was more abstract for me, but I thought, you know, that would be really freaking awesome to work on, though. Um, so, because it just looked crazy, but I can't remember which one it was. So, that is that on that one. So, I did that. I've never voted before, so I voted on that today. So, I'm learning all. I'm learning all the things. I'm learning. It's just, you know, it's a work in progress. And then it's, you know, on the Diamond Art Club uh, Facebook group, the uh, VIP one that you actually have to purchase Diamond Art Club pictures um, and prove that you are who you are because they ask for the information when you log in. Um, not your password, but what your login information is for Diamond Art Club to prove that, yeah, you've purchased to be part of the group. Um, Someone had put there on there a couple of days ago, I guess, their diamond painting, their diamond art, art clip stash, and I was sitting there thinking, God, I thought mine was bad. Um, no. Mine stacks up in a closet on a shelf, and they're kind of side by side, um, the way they're stacked, so I would, I kind of know what they are. Um, I got one box labeled because I got four or five canvases in one box because I got the Colors broke out into the photo box, uh, photo boxes um, that I gotten from Michaels. The storage boxes, the four by six storage boxes. They have individuals for photos, and then they have this one big container they all sit in. So I have this where I have my colors for my ones that are boxed up. 
So, but no, this woman had them. I mean, we're probably talking about a hundred or more stacked up on top of each other with their names written on the end so she know which ones were which. I'm like, mm, nope. I don't got that many. I don't got that many. All right, so now she says down there. Don't have that with Broadway 6. Uh, mm -mm. So we'll do T next. T is next. So, oops, flying away. So, yeah, I don't have that many, and I don't have any Dreamers designs, and I think that's all they got their sales still going on. Uh, but no, I, and a lot of people said, oh, I need to be a no-buy for 2023. I need to be a no-buy for 2023, but my problem with this is going to be the following. Any Chuck Pins and Lane Kitscape that comes out that I like, or Abraham Hunter or Dominic Davidson one. Any more of the releases they do for the superheroes, uh, I'll honor because I'll probably have to get it. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I mean, I am gonna have some that will keep me busy, but you know, I last year, 2021, coming into 2022, it was the idea of I'm not gonna shop down at Art Club Paintings until the Black Friday. Cyber Monday sale because the 2021 sale was a really good sale. So I was like, I'm not buying any in 2022 until these two sales. Well, you see how that worked. I became down in status this year. And that was just because of buying the Justice League ones. Because I got, you know, the Batman, the Superman, the Wonder Woman. Today's devotion for December 3rd is It Takes Wisdom to Have a Good Family, Proverbs 24, 3. Raising Children At an educator's conference, one colleague condescendingly asked another's wife, What is it that you do, my dear? The husband later wrote, My wife shot back, I'm socializing two homo sapiens into the dominant values of the Judeo-Christian tradition, in order that they might be the instruments for the transformation of the social order into the kind of eschatological utopia that God willed from the beginning of creation. Then she asked sweetly, And what is it that you do? And the woman answered humbly, I, I teach sociology. The Bible says it takes wisdom to have a good family and understanding to make it strong. Wisdom is the ability to see the discernment. Understanding is the skill to respond with insight. If you succeed at everything else in life and fail at home, nothing else will matter. One author writes, we must fill our children with light so they can discern what's dark. Help them cultivate a life of peace so they recognize discord. Educate them on what's right so that what's wrong has a glaring contrast. We must love them so fully that they're not trying to stave off emptiness. Offer the sweet scent of truth so they can smell a lie. Build their confidence in Christ so they're not easily dismantled by others' opinions. We must build their foundation on a rock so they recognize unstable ground. Bring them up so it's difficult for others to bring them down. And teach them to pray for wisdom so they realize being smart isn't enough. As parents, you and I may not see the return on our investment right away. But at the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing and we don't give up. And that's your devotion.